Hey everyone, in this quick tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can get the total area of each wall type using Dynamo. I know you can do this easier with Revit, but it's just like a, an exercise in, in Dynamo so you can understand it better. So let's go to manage, let's fire up Dynamo. I'm going to be using a, a sample project. Uh, so you can repeat the same thing that I'm doing with the same project. <clears throat> Let's go to new. And uh, here, so if you get the logic of what you're doing, so you can uh, get the cat. So first of all, I want to get the category by name. So type category by and here you have the option to get the category by name. And uh, as you can see, we have the input for string. So we can just go for the string and uh, type here walls. So basically that you understand it better. So when you select your wall, right? <clears throat> how you can explore this and understand it better. So you have the category, right? The category is walls. If you go to edit type, here you can have the type of the element. So basically when you're working in project, you can have a lot of walls. Uh, and having the same type, so for example, this wall and this wall, as you can see, they're the same actually. But if you go to this wall, this is a like a timber clad, so that's a different wall. So our goal is to gather all of the elements, all of the wall types, and sort them. So we would have this wall and we will have this wall separately. So let me show you what I'm talking about. So right here we get the category by name and we can get all elements of category. So all elements of category. So we can get all, as you can see, this is our like literally all walls that we have in our project. So what we can do with this and how we can process this. So uh, we need to get Actually, I want to get the total area of each wall type. So we need to get the area of our wall and the type. And actually, as you can see, once you click on your wall, you get all of these parameter and under dimensions, you have the area parameter. And if you go to Dynamo and uh, you can use set parameter value, uh, set parameter uh actually we need to get parameter get oops get parameter get parameter value by name so this you can feed in your element and you can say what kind of a parameter you want you can again use uh like this string uh, or what i prefer doing is double click you have a code block and just type here area so if you see it in, you can get the area of each wall. Now you can get using the same, so you can actually click on this and by holding control key, you can drag it here. And instead of this parameter, we can type actually type. We can type uh, type type <laughs> and you can get you can get the each type of the wall that you have in project. So actually we have the type and we have the area. Uh, of course, because actually we have a lot of walls here. And as I've shown you that some of them are actually the same walls. So they're using the same type. So this one and this one. Uh, so when it comes to having like the same things of something, you can use two notes that can be quite useful is the list dot unique like you need uh, actual list dot unique items so when you fit this fit this in you're gonna get only the unique items so out of this 56 items only nine of them uniques so a lot of them are just repeating but one to one note that is better from clockwork uh, is list dot uh, count occurrence occurrences so when you feed this feed this in you will get actually <clears throat> the unique element so the type of this wall 
and here you will get actually how many this time repeats so that's a little bit better uh, but now actually we don't, uh, we're gonna use we're gonna be using this later on so now we get all of our wall types and uh, all of our areas and we actually can sort um, uh, can sort this list by this one so how we can do do this is that uh, we need to go sort list sort list by another so we can get we can sort this list based on this one so you're uh, actually and uh, it's not working <clears throat> because if you hover over uh, on sort by you can see what it asks for so it asks for double and it's not a double if you go to and type here object type uh, object type or object oops object object type here you go you have this one and if you fit this in you can see that it's not it's a it's a wall type it's an element but we need to have a double so here um, you can get an element ID element dot ID so basically each uh, element in Revit has an ID and as you can see it's written over here so we can get out of our elements ID so now we can get the ID of each element that's actually the same but if you go to object type one more time one more time so object type now is gonna be uh, the integer and that one will work in our scenario so now you can uh, get the areas and sort this by this element ID so now as you can see what it will do it will sort our areas based on this list so as you can see it's kind of created that in a logical order like as you can see and uh, this one is corresponding uh, to this ID so right now we have uh, this list and we can actually we can actually use this um, list dot occurrence uh, count occurrences and uh, so from this one we can get actually our ID of the wall so what do you mean we get from this so as you can see here we have two outputs uh, so we have the output of sort by and list so this sort by is actually our IDs so if you sort by this and if you see what's happened what is happening over here so actually you need to regard this ID as a family type as a wall type so basically we have the wall with this ID and uh, we have eight uh, eight wall types of this one so eight instances eight counts of this wall type so right now uh, <clears throat> uh, so right now we can actually uh, so we have our uh, we have this one uh, now we can uh, sort this so we can go to the so we have how many of these we have and uh, we can go with the list chop I think yeah list chop yeah list chop I forgot this a little bit so now we can get actually how how does that work so we get the list of elements that we want to use so for example these wall elements right so we can get these elements and we can for the lengths for the lengths we're gonna we're gonna pick this one so what it will do but actually I think we need to get the ID yeah we need to get actually the ID this list yeah we need to get this list actually yeah it's a lot better so right now we're getting actually the areas yeah we're getting the areas corresponding to this ones so now these are the areas of each uh, so we have eight wall types with this ID uh, and we have this areas eight areas and now you can go to sum uh, and now you can uh, kind of sum these values so if you fit this in you can have that 
your wall type with this ID uh, has this amount of area, takes up this amount of area. So that's the way how you can calculate uh, the total area of, um, of wall type. So what we have done over here, actually I shouldn't uh, I shouldn't have I should have done this before but actually so uh, what is the algorithm that we took all of our walls we knew that we needed to get the area and the type of the wall because our goal was to get uh, the total area for each type and then we use um, a node from clockwork uh, this is not from clockwork I think that is from Archilab a uh, list is uh, sort list by another so uh, we can take two lists and sort so we sort our areas by our IDs we use IDs because the input here is double and we couldn't connect this one because this is an element so and uh, now we can sort our areas by our IDs and then we use a node from a clockwork uh, so we can actually get um, the IDs and how many uh, that uh, that happens that ID happens so actually our ID is our wall type and we want to say like how many that happens so we go and we say we have element the first one the second one with the same type so Dynamo calculates that for us uh, so we kind of sorted our uh, how many of each ID we have and then we can use the list job and what it does that we have for example our area and we're chopping this at some distance so we here we have the count so we go with the length and the length is 8 here as you can see this is 8 the count so what we're feeding we're feeding this list to this list right and it goes like I take this list and for the first one I, I take eight elements so it's count one two three four five six seven eight and as you can see it created uh, the list of eight elements and the same goes for the next one it has three goes like one two three and here we have three of them and uh, that way you kind of uh, chopped your list and you have the area for for each wall type and then you can use math sum to get the total area of each wall type so that's it for today uh, so by using this method you can calculate the total area uh, so if you find this video useful please uh, like and share this video if you have any suggestions uh, please leave them in the comment section below and have a nice day.